Hi, I'm Colt Straub, executive producer of Mountain Monsters, and I'm here with the Ames team to get the story behind the hunt for the grass man. Now guys, has there ever been a creature that you guys have been more intent on capturing than the Ohio grass man? <laughs> no, 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 hey, never. Uh. It, it became really evident to me, Huckleberry, as soon as we started talking about the grass man and even just hearing you talk and doing some of your interviews, you were fired up about this thing. There, there was no question about it. What made you so passionate about wanting to go after the grass man again? Well, he, he's close to our home and he embarrassed us last time. I mean, he just made us look like, like <laughs> idiots. Yeah. yeah, amateurs, idiots. And, and we're not, I mean, <laughs> he just, well, I guess he did outsmart us, but he got lucky. Trapper, you guys let Buck's team know that you had spotted the grass man going into a certain barn, and, uh, you know, Willie, Wild Bill, and, and Buck, talk, talk to me about that moment when you were in that barn with the hay, and all of a sudden, Willie, what, what happened there? You are looking through the floor. I can hear something down around there clanging around through the metals and stuff. So without poking your eye down through there, I just took my shotgun and moved a little bit of hay that was covering that hole up, trying to look down in there. And about that time, it grabbed hold of the end of my shotgun. It jerked it out of his hand. And ripped it clear out of my hands and down to the next floor. We were sitting there looking at each other like, you know, what do, what do we do now? We got to get downstairs. I, I wasn't concerned about the grass men having a loaded weapon, you know, shooting, shooting at us, you know. I was, I mean, if anything, he had a club to hit us with, but I, he, there was no way he could, you know, he, I can't think he's that diligent, but, uh, you know, at that time, at that particular point in time in the hunt, I, I was really hoping that the grass man had become suicidal because I was tired of dealing with him. Well, here's where it gets, it gets, got pretty wild that night. Buck, uh, you're here, obviously. Uh, no broken bones, no crazy injuries, no stitches, but definitely got busted up, bruised, and I think concussion. Absolutely. Tell me about that moment when, when they were inside, you're trying to get in that barn, you guys split up, you're trying to get in, they're trying to get out, and then there's a moment of impact. Tell me about what happened at that moment. I could hear Willie and Bill inside, and I could hear a lot of commotion. Um, I wasn't sure what was going on, but I knew that they was in there and the grass man was in there too. Um, all I could think about was getting in there to Willie and Wild Bill. Um, as soon as I found the door, the next thing I know, I got smacked right in the face, and I, and I was, I mean, it knocked me stupid. Well, I, I think at that moment, uh, it became ex extremely real for the whole team. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, absolutely. Um, I, I wish we could say that it got better from there, but it definitely had to get worse first, and I think that happened the next morning. Trapper, you were able to go meet with the team and tell them, look, you know, Bucks, he, he's, he's banged yeah, I spent, up. Uh, I spent a night with him. It was very long hard drive on me. Uh, Buck means so much to me that... Uh, all of us, Trapper. He means a lot to all yeah. of us. I mean, he's our old team member. He's our old brother. I was worried about him, and, and a lot of that goes through your mind. You got that note right before your final night hunt. Uh, you guys had a phone call with Buck. Uh, I'd like to hear both sides of your story, what you guys were thinking at that time when you guys had that phone call. At this point, I was just... I was glad to hear their spirits were up and that they was all, you know, willing to, to still continue after this because that's exactly what I wanted them to do. And, and they was right where I wanted to be. I was anxious to see how they did. It was a long, long night that night sitting by the phone. I never slept a wink. Tell me about that moment when you guys finally were able to find that, that mash. You guys were trying to stick it to the grass, man. That's how it came oh, yeah, across to you. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, Willie stole his mash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say it stays in her old Willie found her and we snitched her. And even more behind the scenes, what, what people don't know is when Willie brought that mash back, I went ahead and I pulled the same trick on the grass man that I pulled on Trapper. And uh, <laughs> I, I went ahead and went number two in the mash bag and, uh, and we put it back out there. So I hope he enjoyed his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Trapper, you found that footprint right by where you would spot a Jeff, you'd picked him up on the thermal, and he was heading towards the trap. Were you guys hoping he's got to be in there? I'm sure you were, but what was going on? You guys still, even though you've been broken down, Buck was hurt, it's negative degrees, you guys still were fired up to go after oh, yeah, this thing. After. Yeah, we was wanting to get this low light. Seems like every time he rubbed on us the wrong way, we got tougher. 
I mean, he was, he was, everything he could do against us, it was giving us more energy. Well, uh, I wish I could say this had a happy ending, but he is resilient. This thing is once again proved he's uh, one tough son of a bitch, I would say. You would ain't be. a kid and he's one tough SOB. You ain't a kid, mister. So, guy, you didn't get the grass man in the trap now a third time. Uh, is there a group consensus that you guys still want to go after this thing, or have you had too much? No. 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 We're, we're going we're after the grass man. Get, get, us, we're get us some. We're going back to the Perry we're, County. Yeah. We're yeah. going Perry back. County Perry County ain't seen the last of this group. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 He ain't seen the last of them, Steve. Yes, no, sir. Absolutely long not. Shot. Uh, well, thank you guys for a great season of Mountain Monsters. Uh, really incredible stuff. It was really entertaining, very scary. I'm glad you guys are all in one piece. So are we. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> so are we. Thank you for watching Behind the Hunt and for watching Mountain Monsters. Until next time, check out DestinationAmerica.com slash Mountain Monsters to catch up on all your favorite moments from the season.